my name is Mark Porter. I'm the operations manager here at Falcon Transport. We've decided to put this uh, video together for those of you who have not ever strapped a set of flatbed trailers. Uh, pulling these three high flatbed trailers is part of our towway company that, that we're uh, initiating. Uh, with me is our driver David McConaughey. He's uh, one of our towaway drivers, one of our better towaway drivers, and he's going to help us show you the correct and proper procedure for strapping down a set of flatbeds. You want to, you're going to either be pulling a 53 foot flatbeds or a 48 foot flatbeds. The DOT requires that two straps be put in the first two feet of the trailer. So we're going to recommend that the lead strap be two feet back from the front of the trailer. The second strap be five feet back from the front of the trailer. Now, if there's not a uh, walk-up ladder type of, like the stairway type ladder at the location, we don't want you climbing on the trailers. So we're going to show you how you do this. We want the, the, the strap rolled up with the hook out, not the hook in. You'll see guys a lot of times roll the strap with a hook in. There's two reasons that we want the, the hook out. We don't want the hook going over top of the trailer and then dropping down and possibly gouging an aluminum wheel or possibly gouging the new trailer. We want to get the trailers there in pristine condition so we sure as heck don't want to have a, a, a gouge in a brand new aluminum trailer. So what we suggest is you can get yourself about two foot of lead right here hold on to the hook and really pitch it over the top like this. Okay. The proper procedure for placing the hook is through the inside of the rail as required by the DOT and back up through the top. So once it's fastened and pulled, pulled tight from the other side from the winch, it actually pulls this, the hook down tight and locks it in solid. If you were to have a collision with some kind of a roadside obstruction or something, you had to swerve and caught a sign, it would hit the metal hook and not the strap and cut it. That's why we need it inside the strap. Now, this is a 53-foot set of flatbed trailers we have here. David has already thrown the straps the way they need to be due. We have two in the front, in the first five feet of the trailer, a foot apart. And then every 10 feet across the top. So on a 53 foot configuration, you're going to have 5 feet from the back over the top, 5 feet from the front over the top, 10 foot, one in the center, 10 foot, and 10 foot in between the front and, and the middle, or the or excuse me, the rear and the middle of the trailer. David's already put these trailers there, we or straps there. We put the, the, the lead strap as required by the DOT, the two for the front of the trailer, and uh, We'll take a look at the other side. Okay, as you can see now, we're out on the other side of the trailer, out away from the trailer. David has got his straps every 10 feet across the top of the trailer. Then what we want you to do is split the middle on the middle trailer and put one across the middle one. Put the middle of the, ten, the straps over the top 10 feet away across the middle. Put the middle across the middle and so forth. So what you're going to have on a 53 foot configuration is five straps plus the lead strap, six straps across the top, and then four straps across the middle on a 53 foot trailer. On a 48 foot configuration, you'll have the two straps lead across the front, across the top, and you'll have them every 10 feet starting five feet from the back. So you'll have five straps across the top, and then you'll have three straps splitting the middle across the, the center trailer. This is the proper way to, to, to configure the straps. And now I'm going to have Dave show you the proper way of fastening the straps. You'll notice on this lead, on this lead ratchet, he's going to keep it ahead of the center of the tire in case of a hard lean or a hard turn. The winch will not come down at this point up here and hit the center of the tire and cause damage to the tire and the winch. So we don't want you to have at any point the straps at the center of the tire with the winch. The other thing we want you to pay strict attention to, and Dave will, Dave will get this, is we do not want you to have the strap across the stake pocket. That's this piece right here. It's very sharp, and if you have it across the top, 
When you crank it down and it's tight, the wind just flapping it around just a little bit, it'll work just enough on this sharp edge to cut the, cut the strap. The rub rail itself is all rounded, so what you want to do is make sure you look up at the top and the strap does not go across one of the stake pockets. Now, David will also want to make sure, again, your strap to the inside of the rail. Okay, and then Dave will show you the proper fastening. Put the strap through the slot, take up a little bit of the slack. About a foot to 18 inches or so. And then start rolling it up. Now we recommend that you, you go down and fit all your winches prior to tightening any of them down. Get them all, that way the wind comes up, they're not blowing back down, and you're going to have to get back up and throw them back over again. So as you get them, as you get them in place, let's, let's put, them, put, in, put the winches on them, okay? He'll go down through here in another one and show you another one. And then what we're going to do is go to our hand winches. Now some of the flatbed manufacturers will not have the rail mounted winches on them. Generally, your flatbed companies that are strictly hauling steel and coils and that, they won't order the winch reels on the trailers from the factory. This particular group of trailers already has the winch reels on the trailer. We have what we call the hand ratchet. What David has set up here, guys, is the hand ratchet. This is what we call the hand ratchet. In this particular instance, he's using the hand ratchet because the permanently mounted winch ratchet will not go any farther forward than this because of the tire clearance. So we suggest you just go ahead and keep that to the back and use the hand ratchet. They will now demonstrate the use of the hand ratchet. What you also want to find, guys, is when we get these tight, I used to call it the violin string theory. If you tap it and hear a ting, they're tight. If you don't hear the ting, they're not tight. Find very carefully in the center of it. They don't come back and hit you in the face. In the center, careful. Your excess, 14 to 16 inches or so. Don't tie them in knots. You look very unprofessional. Sneak them up into here like this. Close. Won't go nowhere. Anything here? One in the back here. Okay, guys, another, while Dave is affixing this last one on the, on the winch, another use for this hand ratchet would be if we were hauling detachable gooseneck drop necks or something very low to the ground that they can't mount a winch on. So what we do with those, most of your drop decks don't have the rub rail on them. We'll just take it and hook, hook the hook to the inside of the frame rail and bring it up and use your hand ratchet as Dave demonstrated. This excess, is this still fine? This excess here is a lot of excess. Don't tie it into knots under your rub reel. 
do what I'm doing. It's about 16 to 18 inches. Just little tricks to the trade. behind this while it's still loose. Tuck it right there. That's one way of securing all that excess. What you have here, Dave, on a smaller amount of excess, Dave did it this route, with a big a lot of excess sticking out like this, he's using the strap to pressure it against the rub rail and it won't move. It'll stay. Because you can't get all that bulge up through here like I did that one. You can't do it. You gotta tuck it behind it. You get the idea. Okay, the other thing guys are these straps will be issued to each and every individual driver. If in fact you pull in and there's a set of straps already affixed to the winches, we want you to go ahead and use the straps that are on the trailer. Uh, it'll save you work on the back end because when you wheel in with that sack of straps, you won't have to unstrap them. You just leave them strapped, drop the trailers, and leave. That'll be the end of our video for the day. We hope this has helped.